This is the time of year to catch big fish. We are in that time. Uh, I'm in Fort Loudon. I keep coming back to Fort Loudon. It's more of a challenge thing. I can do like these other YouTubers, go to Milton Hill Lake, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I done all that last year and the year before, you know. I like doing new stuff. I don't like going back to the same old spots, the same old scenery. I like a new challenge. So, uh, you know, I keep hitting this Fort Loudon because I know there are still, even though there, it ain't what it was, in this reservoir there are still a few big fish left. And uh, I, just, I just like a challenge, man, different scenery. I done the Melton Hill thing last year, going up and getting 40 pound blues and flatheads. whoop de doo poo I want something new. Got hit right there. We'll let all them uh, new YouTubers and some of the familiar other guys give all that stuff to you. I've already been there. I'm setting my course for a new adventure. I like keeping it exciting, fishing the same spot week after week. Fish are there or not. I've caught fish my whole life. Uh, the last time I drugged pretty successfully was over at Poland Creek. Ended up getting one around 30 pounds that night and a couple in the 20 something pound range. And for Fort Loudon, that's better than average fish. This is a much bigger creek system. It has even deeper water we'll be going through. We could have a better night here than what we had over there. Another key thing for me this time of year is fishing the night bite. Yeah, you can catch a big fish any time of day, but most of my video success, if I go back to my old videos, at, during this time of year when I was getting the bigger fish, I was night fishing, man. I think that's the most active time right now. Back in the summer, back in the spring, I, I had all kind of daytime videos. And I'd rather fish the daytime. Ain't got to set up this dag blasted light. You can see what you're doing if you get tangled up or have to break off and retie a hook. Makes much better photographs if you take a picture in the daytime. We'll start out dragging. You know, if that is successful, I may keep doing it. If I get over a short area that seems to be a hot zone, I may spot lock and suspend that area. Who knows? We're going to play it by ear. See what's in here. I'm expecting tonight a pretty good bite. I'm going to go ahead and bump my speed up to about 0.9 uh, while we still have some daylight. I'm using these rattles on a couple of these rods. And the more speed you got, the more those things are gonna vibrate. I don't have a scale. I do, but the batteries are dead. I can judge a fish pretty dang good, man. And I, I don't overestimate either. I, I play it very conservatively. I can take a pretty good guess about what a fish weighs, so. The last fish in uh, the Poland Creek area, the biggest one was around 30. We'll see if we can beat that tonight. It don't look like it on my video camera because it adjusts for light, but we're real close to dark. It's almost seven o'clock. I'm starting to see fish on the fish finder. I just got my first bite on that middle rod. Starting to see bigger schools of uh, large shad now that we're in this area. We're up into the 26 foot range now. That's when everything seemed to come alive, 26 foot. I expect a rod to be going down here real shortly. I'm gonna go ahead and slow my speed back down to 0.7 now that we're starting to get into the range of the fish. 
That back side might not have been productive with the sun up, but after it goes down, it may become productive. Of course, nothing's productive yet. We actually ain't caught jack squat. I believe I got one on right here. It seems to be swimming to the right of the boat. There we go, y'all. Starting to get into, I mean, it ain't no dank, man. Not too bad of a fish. It's definitely much bigger than the average you catch out of these creeks. Uh, yeah. Yeah, man, he's definitely in upper 20s. I'm gonna guess probably 28 pound. Not a bad fish. Oh. We're hitting him in that zone, I figured we would. Right into the 30 foot mark. Uh, we'll be going into about 40 before we turn around and come back. Very windy tonight. A cold front is moving in. Severe thunderstorms tomorrow, so. I believe this one has potential to hold bigger fish or would attract bigger fish because of the depth that we can get into. 
They can hide out here in 30 to 40 foot of water, but yet still have access to the magic that goes on in these creeks as far as all the bait fish and stuff moving back there. So they've got security of the depth, quick access to what's going on in the creek system this time of year. So I think this creek system, as opposed to Poland Creek, has potential to put us on a much bigger fish simply because of the depth and the size of it. I want to beat that one I got at Poland Creek, which was around the 30 pound range. And that first fish was close to matching it, just not quite there. It was still a good fish. Done got all my lines tangled up. Went sideways. That's not good being wrapped up in other lines. He don't feel like a bad fish. He's wrapped in three of my lines now. Done made a mess. Oh well. That fish caused all kind of chaos right there. Caused all kind of chaos. All right, y'all, that big moon is up. I can see it coming up over the trees. Big storm's coming in tomorrow. That wind has finally died down, or for now it has anyway. We're going to keep pressing on. Hey, hey, hey!
likes the tail splash. See what we got. See if this beats the polling creek. He don't beat it. Just a feisty old blue cat. Not a bad fish, but he don't beat the Poland Creek fish. Got some length, got some weight. Here again, that's probably an upper 20s. Oh, we got one on right there. We got one on right there. Let's see what we got. He done got in my live loop. He done got in my live loop. Oh, long slender fish. Done messed up my live bluegill. I'll have to check that bluegill. Long and slinky. Caught on skip stinky. Oh, 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 we getting hit. We getting hit, we getting hit. We hit.
That looks like another 20s fish. Looks like another 20s fish. Another long fish. Another in the 20s range. Ugh. Ouch. Yeah. We'll call that one about 24 pounds. Ouch, let go of my thumb. There she goes, there she goes. Old small fish. Old Dinkster. Here's one kind of in between on a headpiece on the planer. We'll call this one, oh, about 13 pounds.
I got a built-in scale. Finally got hit on the bluegill. Oh. Some old dink fish hit my big old bluegill, man. It finally got eight. I think I'm just gonna suspend a regular cut bait now. That bluegill didn't seem to get much attention till then. I'd say we got over the 20 pound mark there. Not a lot. Probably right at 20. I believe that's number eight. I believe we got one on.
fish, long and skinny. I believe that's number nine, y'all. We're going to call that a teenager. Oh, he's bumping between 13, 14 pounds. This creek is uh, getting more and more active in the night, even with that big moon up. Here again, it's the time of year. There's a lot of bait up in here. We got a lot of fish just hanging outside of this thing. And at night, they're moving on in. I knew I seen that. Planer board. Hey, shut up, bird. I knew I seen that planer board acting funny. I believe that's 10 fish. Well, we didn't get a big fish tonight, but it's definitely getting into the season. Several videos ago, I done a video called looking for the last few fish. That was much earlier in October. It was actually very hot that day and water temps were up. Uh, unseasonably warm waters for that time of year. I was at the right place. The water temperatures weren't cooperating. I ended up getting 11 fish in that video and probably not one of those fish hit the 20 pound mark. After that, I done a video called, if it ain't broke, don't fix it catfishing. Uh, that was in Poland Creek. That video was filmed uh, probably a week later after some cool nights finally and some more water temperature drop. In that video, we've seen some numbers, but an increase in quality of size. We actually got one that hit the 30 pound mark. We're hit right there. We actually got one that hit the 30 pound mark and a um, couple more over 20. Much better than the previous video. And then tonight, well, I don't think we quite hit the 30 pound mark, but we did break the 20 pound mark four times, two times got close to 30. So every cool night that comes along, the farther we get towards the end of October, he's on it again. The better the quality of fishing seems to get. That's another over 20 right there. Gonna have a mess. Gonna have a mess.
Yeah, definitely over 20. There's another uh, higher 20s. Getting closer to the 30 pound mark. Ouch, let go, let go, let go, let go. Oh yeah. Well you see it people. The farther we get into it, the more the better sized fish are coming in here. For y'all interested in this stuff I'm using, these planer boards, uh, these come from a company called B Cap Boards. You can look them up. I'm sure they got a website. I know they've got a Facebook page, B Cap Boards. They also make these dragon weights. I've had very good luck with these. Now, granted, there's some places you ain't got no business dragon. Uh, but in the places you do, um, I've only lost a few. Uh, two of those was in the same spot in Teleco Lake. I had no business dragging that lake. And another one was uh, over at Poland Creek. I had two rods go down at the same time and I had hooked into a tree. If your hook grabs something, you're going to lose it. If your hook doesn't grab, I've always been able to get these loose every time. I've had to back the boat up maybe and shake them a couple times, but I've lost three in about six months of using these things and I've drugged these things for miles and miles and miles, caught fish after fish after fish and only lost three of these things. They're expensive to get them pre-made like this, but these are made with quality. Uh, these are actual musket balls that they use in here and uh, the top part is filled with flotation and they glide over rocks, logs, whatever's down there. And as far as these uh, rattle type floats, they've got these things too. Uh, so if y'all's interested in any of this stuff, check out B-Cap boards. I've done used up all my skipjack and I'm heading back to the truck. Either way, this is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one. Signing out.